Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. I mentioned yesterday in the last <laughs> the pick a card reading I did, I wasn't going to leave it there. So that's why I'm posting another pick a card reading. I just cannot leave that energy on the table with you guys. So today is a much more lighthearted reading and it is a viewer requested and this one is coming from, I hope I say this right, Sherdell's PAF. I'm sorry if I say it wrong. But it is who is your true life partner. I think a lot of us are kind of wondering that at this point. So I have it here. Let's see what we can find out. And so there are four piles for you to choose from beginning on the left. We have fluorite, two is lapis lazuli, three rose quartz, and four is carolite. So you'll find the timestamps in the description box and you will also find them in the comments section. So take a second, breathe, which one is your pile, and then I'll meet you with that one. Hello pile one, welcome to your pick a card reading. Today's pick a card reading is a viewer requested from, I want to say it was shared elves, I'm sorry if I say it wrong, PAF, and it is who is your real life partner, my title day, who is your true life partner, so you know, whatever works. It's still the same thing, same concept. And since I am recording this on Mother's Day, if you are a mother, happy Mother's Day to you and for being the wonderful being that you are. So today I have everything sorted out. No shuffling. Everything's pretty much ready to go. So I don't have much else to say. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. If you already subscribed, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Glad to have you guys here. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys are the fluorite pile. And let's go ahead and start figuring out who your life partner, true life partner, is pile one. Okay, sorry. I just had to take a deep breath right there. All right, so we are going to start off with the page of wands, the seven of cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So energy, we'll start off with that. So we do have some Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so the things that jumped out at me as I was laying down the cards, um, your person is a bit of a dreamer. They kind of have all these goals and ambitions in life. They might be like a goal setter. They might have like lists of things they want to accomplish during their lifetime. I also got that they may not be the best person with money. They might kind of indulge a little bit too much when it comes to spending. They're not as cautious with their money as they could be. And I feel like this person is a lot of fun. They like to party. They like to drink. They like to have a good time. And it might be where maybe that's part of the spending. Like they're not spending on the right things. And that's part of the problem. But I do feel like this person has a zest for life. They probably might like traveling quite a bit. Also another reason is like this person um, might not have like a savings plan kind of thing going for them. They just kind of get their money and spend it might be a little bit of like paycheck to paycheck kind of energy at least when they're younger they might be in that but also I feel like this person is just very enthusiastic about life and experiences um, I was getting some of them just might be very adventurous also your partner is going to be someone who is very well and well dressed I'm also getting the word well mannered so they are someone who is going to be treating you right, pile one. And I feel like at the same time, this is going to be someone who is going to be a wish fulfillment for you, but also for them. I feel like this person does have quite a bit of a, a nice a sexual drive, so I feel like there aren't going to be really any issues when it comes to your sex life with this person. I feel like that's just going to be off the charts and just perfect because we do have... Um, the Nine of Cups and then we have the Page of Wands and to me Nine of Cups can also be about uh, just like really good sexual <laughs> energy and happiness so just very fulfilling. I feel like this person overall is very happy. I feel like this is going to be, for some of you I'm getting this is really going to be a really outgoing type of energy 
and I don't feel like they're going to be too withdrawn to themselves. I feel like that sometimes it might feel that way and they might have this capability on the downside where they might give you the cold shoulder. So that is something also because we know that nobody's perfect and I'm not just going to, I'm going to give you guys what I get as I'm doing this. So that's what I'm getting with your tarot cards. Um, for some of you, this person might be younger than you. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be too much of an age gap though is what I'm getting with that. Let me see if there's anything else. I feel like this person is going to be into athletics. I'm hearing like they might be a runner, uh, might be like track and field. They might be into a sport where there is a lot of running, a lot of back and forth um, going on. And this person might have a pet. I'm getting this person might have a pet that you may not like. So like possibly like a pet snake or just kind of more of a rep Tillion type of pet versus like the traditional cat and dog. Um, but either way, take it as it resonates. They're going to have a pet as well. I do feel like this person is going to have be living on their own when you do get together with them. When this person comes into your life, I don't get that they're going to be living at home. But that's going to be different for everybody. Obviously that's not going to apply um, depending on your age and their age when you do meet because if you meet this person when you're younger then most likely they may not be <laughs> living in their own place just yet. So that is what I'm getting with that. I do feel like this person can be a little bit on the emotional side but I think like they keep their emotions within. This person doesn't really like dealing with the bad. They kind of just rather focus on the good. They kind of not, well, I'm going to say, it. I feel like they might ignore or they just don't like dealing with the negative parts that comes up and they just kind of like brush it off type of energy. So let's take a look at your other cards because we do have a lot of tarot, um, oracle cards that I pulled. So the first one, ooh, Black Panther, independent, clever, fascinating. So that sounds very um, interesting. It sounds like it's going to pretty much all link together here. The Advocate, Light Attribute, inspires you to put compassion into action. Shadow Attribute, embracing negative, negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. There is a lot of green here. So, I was thinking about the finances. It's kind of like the same energy of the Five of Pentacles. Like the green and then kind of like in this caper jacket it seems like that she's wearing kind of that same energy but anyways I just feel like that's more about their heart chakra I feel like this person is they might have a little bit of a blocked heart chakra um, but I think it's only because because they do not deal with the past issues those past like all those negative things like they just don't want to deal with it just let me focus on the good times the happy times and that's it the rest of your oracle cards high one verde prato wounds so yeah and it's funny because it's all green i cannot get that card to stay i'm sorry <laughs> and then we have water and salt truth so your person is going to be honest with you they're going to be upfront. i do feel like for the most part when you are with them they are going to open up to you. It may take a little bit of time for them to warm up to you. So it might be kind of like the way I get it. Their heart is, when you meet this person, you won't know it because they just seem so playful, so fun loving, so energetic. But when it comes to their emotions, it's almost like they have this frozen heart in a way. And so it might take a little bit of time, but they will come around to you and finally open themselves up and just, you're going to melt away those layers of ice around this person's heart, which is very beautiful and very sweet. And I do feel like you just, this person is someone you're going to be able to trust. I don't feel like you're not going to trust this person. This is someone, you know, as far as this is your life partner. So yeah, you want to be able to trust them, which is great. And I'm glad that came through. For you guys, we have the firecracker, excitement, yep. Dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Third eye, well, eye, third eye, because it's psychic ability, trust your intuition. Coins, when it, money will be coming to you. I have one more, that's gonna fit in the screen, yes, I think so. Bo, you are highly thought of. 
that fit there? I think so. You might not be able to see the bottom of it. Um, let me move this around a little bit for you guys and hopefully that'll be better. There we go. I think that helps. Okay, and so the advocate, let me go back to there. We'll start there. Inspires you to put compassion into action, embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. This person is going to be your defender, your protector. They are going to be like a bodyguard to you. They are going to make sure that nothing bad happens to you. Like, it's kind of like, if you're going to get to them, you got to go through me kind of thing. Also with the back, the Black Panther, I'm getting that kind of energy too, where they're just, they have their eyes on anything. It's just like, you do something wrong to my person and I'm going to come at you. I'm ready to pounce, you know, kind of thing. So this person is very fearless, very um, energetic, very energetic, which is very good as well. The wounds... Just going back to what I was saying, this person, when you um, meet them, it might be that they just came out of a heartbreaking relationship. Some of them might have been in a long-term relationship for a little bit, so it might be where you're, like, completely new to them. Um, as far as, I don't want to say that, that's not what I want to, I don't want to word it that way. I'll come back to it, but really it is where... <sighs> This person is new to the dating scene, is what it is, and so it's kind of like they're just kind of seeing what happens with the dating scene, I feel like, and it might be where you just kind of serendipity kind of comes in, wheel of fortune type of action, you just kind of meet, in, meet each other, bump into each other, or that kind of energy is what I'm getting, but this person does have wounds that they have not healed from, just going back to that frozen heart energy we did go through the water and salt card and then we have firecracker excitement yeah, this person is life is not going to be boring with this person i do not get that you're going to get bored i i feel like there's just going to be something constantly going on you guys are always going to be making plans to do things I'm not looking into what would a relationship be like with them. I might do that. Let me know if you guys want that reading. Um, but I just feel like they're not the type of person to be bored. They're not to just sit around. Like, they are just constantly finding new things, stuff. I feel like your person has a really great sense of humor. They really enjoy laughing at things. They might be really into those, <laughs> like, stupid movies. But they're so stupid, you can't help but laugh, you know? And like, I'm hearing Dumb and Dumber kind of thing. So maybe it's, movies like that is really what they enjoy. They don't want it to take life seriously. They rather just enjoy life for what it is and not really deal with the bullshit and the drama and the stress is what I'm hearing. Now we do have Dark Woman. So if you are a guy watching, it could be that your person, your true life partner, is going to have darker hair. Um, this has dealings or relationship with women with dark complexion or hair. So yeah, that's possibly it. It also could be that this person I'm getting is close to their mother. So their mother might have be very traditional when it comes to how to do this relationship and stuff. She... Um, might interfere is what I'm hearing for some of you that's obviously not for everybody but that's something that I'm getting with that as well but I do feel like your person is very close to their mother or they have like um, an auntie or grandma um, even possibly a friend who is very close to them with and so that's something that I really can't say if it's good or bad right now I just feel like that's something either your person might just have dark hair it so it could be multiple different things with this card and I know it's a little bit harder to say if what it is but until you meet this person then you'll know for sure and then we have the eye psychic ability trust your intuition so this person does possibly have psychic gifts everyone has psychic gifts you guys honestly we all do it's just that we don't develop them so and that's really all it comes down to. So this person does really trust their gut instinct. They're like, they just, I feel like they'll be the type of person who's like, no, something's telling me not to do that. Or, you know, mm, I don't know, I got a funny feeling. Like that kind of energy is what I'm getting. So even if it's like where they don't claim to have psychic powers, abilities, gifts, whatever, they're going to say things that will make you know that they do have 
their intuition, they listen to their gut a lot more than they realize because, you know, we're not really taught to do that. So that's what I'm getting with that. But I also feel like this person has gorgeous and gorgeous eyes. If you are um, a male asking about a female or a female asking for another female, I do get they might wear like the eyeliner, do the whole cat cat eyeliner kind of look um, but they might go all out with their eye makeup and really doll up their eyes I'm also hearing some of them might do wear like the fake lashes quite a bit as well um, very well taken care of might really have a really beautiful um, face skincare routine like nailed down as well so they do will be taking care of themselves in that sense we have the bow, you are highly thought of. So this person is going to think very highly of you, but I also feel like this person is thought of very highly by the people around them. They think, um, I feel like their friends and their family really admire and respect this person. This person, I'm not picking up negative things. The real negative thing, like I said, they might give you the cold shoulder because their heart is in that kind of energy where they're just afraid to just completely open up right away to you. So just that's what I'm getting but I do feel like this person is very successful in what they do they just like spending their money that's another thing so I don't know if that's a red flag for you guys it, you know it depends everyone has their own kind of list I guess of what you would like your partner to be like so um, this is what your person is like pile one coins money will be coming to you so this person does get abundance they do have the wealth the money's there but it just keeps going so it's like you know it's in and out just as fast so it just keeps going on and but this person is enjoying life and i just i feel like they're happy but when they meet you they it's like they know that they are ready for a partnership but they are going to be scared of it and so let's get to your black panther over here independent clever fascinating yes so you are being guided to observe your surroundings and keep your own counsel find clarity and then express your inner and outer beauty to the world pounce on the opportunities that feed your soul with purpose and passion awaken now to your personal powers talents and freedom yeah this person just likes to experience life i feel like they've traveled quite a bit they've gone to some places that you probably wish you could have gone with them and they just do things on their own and they're okay with it and they're just very much in their own power they don't really care they just very carefree very happy very energetic kind of energy is what I'm getting for your person pile one is there anything else that I can pick up on for you though I was just trying to see on the advocate the advocate what I was saying before was just about them like protecting you being there for you watching out for you yeah it this person is just really going to inspire you to live, to get out of your comfort zone, to do things that you didn't think you would do. This person just constantly is thinking of like, what's the next thing I want to do? What's the next place I want to go to? This person just really um, is living life. They really are. And it's kind of a little bit like the fool like not kind of just like whatever carefree optimistic attitude as well it's kind of that energy that i'm getting but overall i do feel like this is a very good energy but there are those few things that you know you're gonna probably run into and you can even see just from this look how she's kind of sad so i do feel like they enjoy getting out and like when they travel they really indulge in the culture and they really get involved as far as like meeting the people in the area it's not just limited to just staying in like the hotel and the area it i feel like they really do explore everything but at the end of the day it's kind of like okay once they get once they're ready once they get tired of this being on them by themselves then i feel like it'll shift into being with you and coming into your life if they are not already so you guys let me know if they are i think that's pretty much all i have for you pile one so let me know if you know this person or you know have an idea of who it might be it might be somebody you know completely new if you don't know who this is then your life partner is someone who hasn't made an appearance in your life yet 
and new love will be coming to you so take it you know as a plus if you don't know who it is and that way you know it's not an ex and hopefully it's not i hope you guys don't have exes but you know maybe your ex is your life partner i don't know and that's what i have for you pile one i hope you guys enjoy this reading again happy mother's day i know it's only this sunday but for those of you that see it today and if you're a mother happy mother's day so i will have a new pick of cards coming up for you guys i still have some more requests i need to get to i hope this helped i hope this i feel like this was a lot better than yesterday's reading i hope you guys agree with me but i feel like tarot isn't just about it's supposed to help you too so anyways that is what i have thank you guys for your time and i hope to see you on the next pick a card bye pile one Hi Pile 2, welcome to your Pick a Card reading. You guys are the Lapis Lazuli Pile. Today's Pick a Card reading is a viewer requested from Turtles PAF and it is Who is Your Real Life Partner. I title it Who is Your True Life Partner. So I have everything ready to go. I'm going to get started because reading one went longer than what I expected. So let's get started <laughs> there's not much else to say lapis lazuli for me is about the throat chakra so i feel like your person is going to be a very good communicator they might have a job where they do have to communicate a lot to people there's quite a few different occupations that involve speaking and really expressing themselves so i they might have some type of communication skill that's really highlighted in their career let's take a look at your cards i'm going to start with tarot and then we'll jump into your oracle cards so what do we got first we have the queen of swords <laughs> what was i just saying the hermit oh the three of swords you guys got five oracle cards or tarot cards i only wanted four you guys got five so your fifth one is the world okay so we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius strongly present here. We do have Virgo, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Virgo is also heavily present here. And then we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Sorry, it took me a second there. But going to the Queen of Swords, what was I just saying about the Lapis Lazuli? Someone who's a really good communicator is just really direct with their words very upfront very honest very direct they're not gonna be i know i said direct twice i'm sorry they're not gonna beat around the bush i feel like this person is gonna tell you how it is whether you like it or not and it's gonna kind of be like fresh air almost because when you meet someone who kind of doesn't really say what they feel how they feel and then you talk to someone else who's like this is what I'm feeling, this is what I'm thinking, it takes away all that clouded ideas in your head like okay this is what they're telling me and you know that they're honest about it so I feel like that's going to be a breath of fresh air for you guys. With the Hermit I feel like this person is a little bit more introverted, they might be keep, um, keep to themselves more, they're not really too much of like a socialite type of energy, they might be very spiritually aware, um, they might follow I don't get religious. Now I know this reading and I have viewers all around the world so it might be for some of you that it is that this person is very in tune with their religion, very religious, so it, take that how it resonates. If it's not religion then they're spiritual, they might have, um, might meditate, they might do yoga, that kind of energy. I feel like this person has gone through a major heartbreak this person even though their heart has been broken they just keep going on this person i mean it's in the middle of the five so this person has dealt with a lot of sadness a lot of loss a lot of pain which is very sad they've had um an emotionally tough life is what i'm getting from that but you have the queen of pentacles so you know, you have the Queen of Swords who's just like upfront, taking no all bullshit, this is how it is, I'm gonna tell you the truth, I don't care if you like it or not, this is what's going on. You have the Queen of Pentacles who is very loving, nurturing, and happy Mother's Day, by the way, that just reminds me, if you are a mother, 
happy Mother's Day ma mamas out there. You guys are wonderful. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are just, you guys are large light workers on your own. But I do feel like this person is very successful, very grounded, very down to earth. They are very financially well off. I feel like their abundance is there. For some of you, um, maybe for the guys or the girls asking about the girls, uh, this is where this person might already be a mother and they might really be into flowers. I'm getting they really might love flowers. I'm a, I mean, I know that's not like a really... Uh, it's a vague statement is what I'm trying to say, but I do feel like that's what I'm getting here. And then you have the world. So this person might like to really travel, might like seeing new different things, might have a way of looking at the world in a diff different perspective than you do. It's not just about the small details. They can see the small details. They pick up on all of it, but then they see the whole entire picture. They know, they see everything that's going on. It's not just limited to what everyone else is seeing. It's kind of like the Aquarius up here or sorry, Scorpio, it's the bird, you see the three of them, how they have like gray clouds, and then this one is the only one with a white cloud. So I feel like that's your person just thinking outside the box, not seeing things just by what they're told or what they see, like there's more, like your person is really into like investigating, looking deeper into things, especially with the hermit. I feel like they're always looking for answers. It's not just one thing, like they're not gonna just take things at face value. This person is very deep. Um, you do have the Virgo. I just, it's the Virgo card that's catching my attention quite a bit in this reading. So, um, if I think it's the Myers Briggs personality test, you guys, I feel like for them it is gonna be like theirs will be like start with the IN. So, I don't know. If you know what that is, then that'll make sense. If not, just you can look it up if you want to. What else can I pick up on this? And this person might... I feel like this is kind of the whole thing. Um, or maybe you come into their life as they're going through a separation, as they're going through a breakup, or they might come into your life after that kind of thing. For some of them, I mean, you do have... I feel like some of these your life partner might be someone who has been married. You do have the Queen of Swords, you have the Three of Swords, and then you have the Queen of Pentacles. For me, that's like a breakup of the home life. So, or they've just had like a really tough upbringing in their life is also another thing that I get. I feel like this person, um, for me, Queen of Pentacles is like boss lady <laughs> energy as well. Like, go get it. Um, these are my goals. You cannot stop me. I am doing what I want. And then you have the Queen of Swords. This person, you just don't want to get on their bad side almost is kind of what I'm getting to. They might be a little bit intimidating to you, but I feel like once you get to know them, you'll really start to see that they've kind of really keep to themselves and they have this cold um, kind of exterior. So it's that tough exterior, but yet the inside is just soft and like you just it's night and day almost in a way but you can't get nothing past this person and that's something to keep in mind and what else i just feel like your person we do have like the taurus and then we have the the pentacles which is taurus virgo capricorn as well it is a lot of earth energy now because you do have three of the cards that are focusing on earth energy so that might be something that's very present in their chart and something to keep in mind as well but I feel like they are maybe not they might be a little bit into material things they might like to have good things they might spoil themselves and the people around them they're very giving yeah you know very giving nurturing that applies with the Queen of Pentacles so but then you have the Leo and I feel like the Leo is almost like that Queen of Swords energy where it's just like nope I mean, you you just can't like that fiery passion comes out and there's just no mistaking about it and then you have um Aquarius so this person can be in their thoughts quite a bit too you do have two cards you have three again also with that so you have some heavy earth energy you have some heavy air energy going on here and that's something also there kind of really can be they're okay being on their own though. I feel like they're 
okay in the silence. They're okay not dealing with people. And then you have the Scorpio, and the Scorpio is also, I think, can relate to the Hermit and just being led by spirit in a way. So I think that'll make sense to those of you. Let me get your Oracle cards because I am already probably way above where I wanted to be. <laughs> so time-wise, the Gorilla, self-confidence, leadership, responsibility. Yeah, this person will take charge and they'll, they're not afraid to do that. The children of Lear, voice, which, uh, yeah, your person's really great communicator, pile two. Goddess. So we'll take a look at that card in a second. And then we have tea leaf cards. All right, so what do we have? We have the box, you will receive a gift. Sorry, I know I moved that. Target, a goal-oriented person. Tulip, great passion. Mm -hmm. The unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial change. And July, something about July, you guys. Okay, so the gorilla. So I was saying self-confidence, leadership, responsibility. You're being guided to take responsibility for yourself and your actions. No barrier can hold you back from becoming your authentic self. Your path to success is right in front of you. All you must do is open your eyes, mind, and heart. So what was I saying? Like, the gorilla, like, you can be afraid of the gorilla. Like, they're not going to mess around. But they can be very loving and caring as well at the same time so that's that whole tough exterior but they're just really warm soft loving like they just have a tender heart is what i get they're real softy but i feel like because of this broken heart energy they kind of protect it at all cost i think that makes sense to you guys then the children of Lear voice yeah this person is they will communicate with you <laughs> they'll tell you and it might be that sometimes because you do have the hermit it might be like sometimes they don't want to and they're like I'm withdrawn right now and I don't want to talk to you but once this person's ready to talk you better be ready to listen because do not ask this person to talk I feel like this person can just go on and on and on and whether you like it or not. I feel like this person almost at the same time has been through so much that they're like, I don't care if you don't like it, I'm telling you. And this person has established boundaries, which was the other thing that I was reading. Um, the no barrier can hold you back. Like this person has had to build um, boundaries to protect themselves and learn. But um, over here, your person, yes, might have me more of a brunette. I try not to go into looks specifically. There is some, I want to say kind of like backlash and complaints. And I didn't see it, like not on my channel, but some people don't like it. And I get it, but I, for me, I feel like for some of you, they're going to have darker hair. And then right here, I see the star. <sighs> Sorry, guys, it timed out on me, so... I was saying I see the stars and for me that's kind of signifying that they are very connected to spirit and then you have two swans here um I was reading somewhere <sighs> some of you may not like this it is possible that it could be a twin flame because apparently swans are a symbol of twin flames now if I'm wrong let me know <laughs> But I do feel like this is going to be your counterpart because we do have two beautiful swans here. And I, that's what I'm getting with that. So uh, they're going to have this gaze with their eyes. Like they once they get their eyes on you, you're just going to melt. Like, I don't know, it's going to be this, not laser vision, but they just have this look to them. Their eyes are just going to, mm, you know. So we have the goddess here. So speaking of... You know, this person is going to be so attractive, so just everything you've wanted. You're going to be just so attracted to them. And the light attribute, the feminine expressed through, expressed through wisdom, nature, life, force, and sensuality. Kind of sounds like divine feminine, doesn't it, guys? 
So yeah, it might be that for some of you, this is your twin flame. If you don't believe in that concept, that is totally fine. It is going to be someone that you have a soul connection with. So it is going to be a deeper type of relationship because it's not just going to be someone completely brand new. The shadow attribute, um, exploitation of the female nature and form. I don't get that. I feel like your person is going to be just all in their power. I mean, you have the queen of swords energy, just very communicative communicative and expressing how they feel but then you have the queen of pentacles to kind of balance it out where she's very loving nurturing caring very protective of those around so and then you know the goddess just that sensuality that attracting attractiveness so the lore and it might be where they might have a little bit of a mystery to them because they are so withdrawn and sometimes even though they tell you <laughs> what they feel they are that hermit energy where they kind of keep to themselves so sometimes it's like you really don't know what they're thinking and they're probably really great poker players because you can't read them and um, that's what I'm getting so the box you will receive a gift okay what I'm getting with this is that they've locked their heart away and they're not gonna just give their heart to the first person who catches their eye this person is so much more deeper than that it goes beyond looks and they've been through heartache where they just they're going to protect their heart they're not going to just give it to anybody so the gift to you is their heart so when this person gives you their heart just know that it took a lot for them to think through to figure out to decide to come to that decision that, okay, yes, I can trust this person with my heart. Take it as a very, um, a very high compliment from this person. Also, what I'm getting, some of them might have a, like, jewelry box or a wood-carved box that was given to them. I'm getting, like, from a grandpa or grandparents, something maybe that's been passed down for family generations, and it's very near and dear to their heart, so they're very cautious of it it means a lot to them and that's just something i'm throwing in there as well that i'm getting the target a goal-oriented person i'm seeing um for some of you i'm getting like a ship this person might really like being on the water might like being near water uh, might have taken quite a few cruises and <laughs> during their time they might be really big fans of cruises but if not, I'm just getting like they're really close to water and being near it. And also, of course, goal-oriented person. So this person knows what they're doing. And it goes ties in with your Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, again, that boss lady or boss man, you guys, sorry. Um, kind of energy where they get things done and they're very successful at whatever career it is. I'm not getting too much on the career. I, I'm really not. So, but... I know that they are successful from what I'm picking up on. I just, I'm not getting specifics. The only thing, like I was saying in the beginning about something where they might communicate, where it's really been able to showcase that talent that they have. And it might be that they might write articles um, for like news. I mean, it's not like the newspaper anymore or magazines. I mean, magazines are out there. They might do it, but it might be that some of them might have like a, a podcast or a vlog where they just really communicate there's different things so take that how that resonates great passion yes and I was saying about the flowers how the person really likes flowers so you do have the tulip here but then passion and that's what I was talking about like they are very passionate when this person gets mad you like I said you don't want to get on this person's bad side that's probably one of the things because be honest here no one's going to be perfect there's going to be things you don't like about your person yeah you like all the great stuff but you know you got to take the good with the bad so that might be something that at times when they get mad they might be just very heated very fiery they will be just like if you're gonna argue with them you just better bring it all <laughs> because this person's not gonna back down um and even if they're wrong uh, they might apologize afterwards but they won't back down the month of July so yes yeah, so this can be obviously yes some of them might be born in the month of July you guys might meet in the month of July also it might be there's water here so it 
something about sunsets is also present. I was talking before with the Target, like I was getting water. So I feel like those two tie in. This person's favorite season might be summer. They might like the 4th of July for those of you in the States. Um, if you're not, then, you know, <laughs> don't take that, obviously. Uh, anything else from that? They might like oranges is what I'm getting with that as well. I'm hearing that one of their parents might have a birthday in July and they're very close to their parents. This person is very family oriented, very close to those around them. So that is well, it's what's coming through. And then we have the unicorn. This person is just going to be this once in a lifetime type of person for you guys. And they're your real true life partner. So you, you're catching that one in, a, in however million, how many billion people in the world? I don't know off the top of my head. But I don't even want to talk about that right now, you guys, because I know the numbers are not where they say they are, so we're not going to go down that path. But this person, again, very beautiful, just very innocent-like as well. I feel like you can't read this person, but they just have this innocent aura to them. Very into fantasy as well, so... Um, what's that one like never ending story is a movie that came into my head right now but i'm also hearing um oh is it the labyrinth oh that's the other one i really into like fantasy mystical um fairy tales also as well as i'm getting maybe reading books like the, maybe one of the recent books that they have read is something like that if you know who this person is i don't know you guys let me know if you know who this person is or not is there anything else i can get for you the world is my soulmate card, so I do feel like this is someone special. This is someone you've possibly known. And it's not just twin flame. It's just at least soulmate. Take that. <laughs> just take at least the soulmate part. But this person's a fighter. They've been through a lot. They've gone through a lot. I feel like they just observe things. They kind of learn. They like watch. This person might be more of, they're going to think before they speak. So when they do speak, it's kind of like it's not just something that they're saying. It's something that they've thought through. So this person is very thorough. Take their time. The target. Some of them might be into archery. Um, or kind of like old sports like that. Um, medieval type energy anything else with that box no I feel like this person is going to protect you and with like with the Queen of Pentacles how she's looking down at that coin it's almost like she's gonna hold your heart be very careful of it be very loving and protective and it might be kind of like putting it in the box like no one can get to it and i'm the only keeper you know kind of thing so this person is really once they're in your life they are going to love you they are going to protect you they are going to be there for you this person is very attractive you are both going to be very attracted to each other there is going to be a lot of passion in your relationship i might do like what would a relationship be like with them let me know if you guys want to see that that might be another one i add to my list i'm gonna leave it here because the readings have gone on so long and i have two more piles so i am leaving it here pile two let me know if any of this resonates if you know who it is if you don't then obviously it's a new person coming in for you so pretty nice i know a lot of people want to hear new love and there you go um but like share subscribe if you're not already and just remember to click on that bell icon so you get notified when i post another pick card but that is all i have for you and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, Pile 2. Hello, Pile 3. You guys are the Rose Quartz Pile. Welcome to your big card reading. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you are already subscribed, been subscribed, thank you for coming back and for subscribing and for your support. Glad to have all you guys here. I am filming this on Mother's Day, so if you are a mother, happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you for all that you do and being the wonderful person you are. And that goes out to all of you as well. So 
Today's pick a card reading is a view requested from Sherdale's PAF. I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. But it is who is your true life partner? You know, who's your true life? Is a partner? Hold on. Yes, partner. Okay. Um, so everything is sorted out. These readings are going pretty long, so I'm going to get to it because there's not much else to say. Let's find out who your true life partner is, pile three. I am so sorry, you guys. I, I know in some of the readings, I say the wrong pile. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean to. We do have the Knight of Swords to begin your reading, pile three. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. And oh my gosh, look at that, the Two of Cups. So we do have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio very heavily present for you guys. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is very much into like seize the day, go towards what they want. They are all about doing what's right. They're like not for injustice. They don't like seeing people treated unfairly. This person, um, I'm getting a little bit fiery type of energy as well. Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry. I thought I heard something. That's why I was kind of like, huh? Okay. Um, but then we have the Two of Pentacles. So your person, I feel, is very indecisive. Sometimes they take their time making a decision. It's going to be like, well, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want? Well, I don't know. Like, it's going to be like, they're just not really going to know all the time right away. Like, they really need to take their time thinking things through. They can kind of be back and forth. They might be a little bit flaky is also what I'm getting. And just hot and cold overall um they might not be too good at balancing their finances as well so that's something else that i've been getting from this too this person possibly really might like to travel like going to places that they've never been to before um anything else with those two not too much and then the ten of cups this person is a very happy complete individual i feel like this person has just figured out life in a way that so many people haven't. They are very blessed, very grateful. So much love and bliss. I feel like this person, when you're with them, you're just going to be so happy. They are going to make you incredibly happy like you've never been before. And you have the Two of Cups. So this, yes, is going to be a soulmate. And possibly a twin flame for you guys who is your life partner and you guys share this deep bond that really is unbreakable even though everything that's happened I feel like it's happened you know you've gone through so much in previous lives and it's that's who your true life partner is so um, I really don't have much else to say with it. It might be where you guys do have a family and have kids and dogs and that sort of thing. So let's take a look at what your oracle cards are and go from there. We have the Condor, Transition, Vision, Determination. We have Rapunzel, Liberation. Yeah, okay. Make sure you can see that. Ooh exorcist light attribute freeing yourself and others of destruction destructive impulses shadow fear facing your own demons and then we have some more so we have broken ring parting of the ways in either romance or business boat bag i'm gonna start putting these up here i'll be in the frame you guys got extra ones i think you got an extra you got extra one. You got one extra of these. Uh, the wall. Misunderstanding. Is that in the frame? No. That better? Yeah, okay. Trying to get that there. And basket. Recognition. Reward for merit. Hold on. Oh, I had to sneeze. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, let's start over here with Condor, Transition, Vision, Determination. You're being guided to soar above any difficulties and self-imposed limitations. Life is a matter of perspective. Find the silver lining, see beyond the ordinary, and visualize yourself doing extraordinary things. You are an extension of source power. And of course, when I hear that, I just think of source. I think of 
God, I think of the universe, whatever applies in your situations. I know I have viewers around the world and so I, it's going to be different for all of us. Um, so whatever applies, however it works for you, your beliefs and that sort of thing, possibly it's probably going to be the same as theirs or you'll have a better understanding with that. But the thing I was getting, like, determined, like, your person is a go-getter. Like, they will do things. They will go out of their way. I feel like they're always there for someone. Like, you just call them up and they're there. There's someone who is very dependable, who's going to be someone you can really trust with your feelings. That's what I'm hearing. Is that it's kind of like a confidant. So you guys are going to be best friends. You guys are going to be best friends. You guys are going to be there for each other. You are going to be each other's support system. They are going to be your support system. It's really what I'm trying to get at because I know this is about, you know, who is your true life partner. Anything else above that? Now, your person just has a way of looking at things from a higher perspective and I feel like that's why that ten of cups how I was saying like they just have had a way of figuring out life and just being content and at peace with themselves and finding this inner peace and happiness but you know at the same time they're still kind of like hot and cold they they're still human <laughs> they're still a part of this reality down here and they're still kind of like sometimes they're just unsure and it's kind of like okay what would kind of like is it the spirit? Do I go with a spiritual approach or do I go with what, you know, the world is doing kind of thing and focus on this and and that's really what I'm getting with that. And then we have Rapunzel Liberation. This person, I feel like, is gonna, um, okay, I know this is about them, but what I'm getting is, like, this person is really gonna make you free. You're gonna, like, set your heart free, set your soul free. You are going to be so comfortable with this person. This person is going to make you feel relaxed, calm, when, of course, when they know what they want. <laughs> when they don't know what you what they want, they'll probably drive you crazy. But I'm getting the sense that with liberation, they just have freed themselves of the past. They've freed themselves of whatever society expects of them. That's possibly what they've, like, unlocked how to be truly happy how to be themselves i think this no like they just are very authentic very to the point they just like this is who i am and not shy about it and they're comfortable with it you know and they're like okay if you like me great if you don't then okay great too you know i'm going on like they don't let things bother them and it's actually really nice i don't think like this person is like full of drama or anything this person is going to have so much love for you they're gonna they're gonna be very loving very affectionate just always there for you they are going to be your greatest supporter your number one fan you have the exorcist and i was saying light attribute freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses the shadow attribute fear of facing your own demons i feel like this person has already done that i feel like from to be really happy they've accepted who they are which is a, a lot you know that's to really accept who they are the good and the bad to try to become better they want when you're with this person they are going to be at one of the best versions of themselves ever and if it is a twin flame journey I hate talking about it because I'm probably just as sick about it as you guys, <laughs> to be honest. But when these unions happen, when the unions come into play and they happen in 3D in the material world, you are offering not only your heart, your soul to this person, but because of all the healing that you've done, you are offering like all that work that you did was to become a better person not just for you and not just for everybody around you if you have kids then you know to be a better parent as well but for your partner you're going to be offering them like this the like the finished or kind of almost finished product because i feel like we're always going to have work to do there's always life doesn't stop so our healing and growing doesn't stop either but you are going to be in this elevated 
it's a present. You're not going to be this lower vibrational person anymore with all these issues, with all this drama, with all these pains that you haven't dealt with. You are in a much happier level of life and you're content and that reflects in the love and because they have elevated themselves in such a way they are truly happy they are full of love it's not hatred it's not jealousy it's not anger it's not you know all these grudges and things and that's very special when you think about it so i get it i trust me you guys i get it it's so frustrating and i'm putting it very mildly right now because if i really said what i thought i yeah you I'm pretty much I'm on the same page as many of you right now but in the end if it means that you're just going to be happier because you really know how to be happy on your own and then that happiness just overflows to everybody you come in contact with and imagine being able to have all that love for you and then for somebody else and then they will be able to do the same thing you know it's different when you love someone you love yourself and then you give to someone else but then if they only give back to you like not even a half a full of a cup then you're just all that excess is going to them before you know it your cup is empty again so as long as both of your cups are full and overflowing there's just all this abundance of love and i feel like that's what that ten of cups is really talking about and that's all spirit talking right now you guys that is not me that is spirit talking through me so wow okay that was deep thank you I ain't gonna lie. I had to stop. That one hit me hard. So we have the broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. So this is obviously for those of you who are in separation. Um, divine Femmes, I know a lot of you have walked away. And I am all for you guys doing it. I am. I support it fully. And... I completely get it. So I'm not going to be here and be like, why did you walk away? You're not supposed to walk away. I'm, you know, I get it. I completely get it. And I know it's like, oh, you're supposed to be loving. I'm being real here, though. <laughs> when you're going through that journey, you're just, it's hard. It is hard. And anybody who says it's easy and, you know, just forgive, forgive. It. And it's like, yeah, but there was something that came to my mind. It's like, um... I wrote it out. Let me get that. Okay. So this was just some, like a thought that had come to me. Because I get it, you guys. And it's like, do you, you know, my whole thing was like, why do you, like, why do you ever just feel like, why is it that I have to be the one to suffer for all the pain someone else caused to, you know, your divine counterpart? And it's like, why does that pain have to come to you when you're the one there for them, you know? So, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I think some of you might get it where I'm coming from with that. So I could probably do a whole reading or we could have like a whole just video talking about that kind of thing. Like it would be probably entertaining to say the least <laughs> if we really said everything we wanted to. But that's what the broken ring is. Um, but I do feel like eventually, you know, it's going to be coming into union. You know, the ring is going to be back put into one thing. We have the boat, money or property through inheritance, through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So this person is going to be very abundant, very, um, there's nothing about their career here. And the only thing about finances was kind of like, they're kind of not really good at balancing their book. And then they kind of spend a little bit more than they should sometimes. And they got to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I feel like that's what that's coming to. And this person might like being near water. They might actually have a boat. For some of you, they might really be into fishing. Um, just being out in nature really is what I'm getting with that. Um, I'm also hearing for some of you, they might surprise you with like a dinner, like a sunset kind of dinner on a boat somewhere or a yacht or whatever kind of, you know, thing, cruise even. I don't know. Um, that's just what I'm getting. And the basket, recognition, reward, for merit. It, okay, I'm getting this person is a foodie. I feel like this person might be really good at either cooking or if not, they just really love how you cook and they think you're a great cook, a great chef. They might really like fruits, uh, might be more into eating fruits. 
it's just an abundance, just an abundance with them. Um, really what I got, like my first impression of that is kind of like, this is once union happens, like that's gonna feel, like that's what it's gonna feel like, like recognition for you, pile three. You're gonna feel like this is finally, like you're finally getting the payback the recognition for all the work you've put into it is what it's going to feel like with this person. So this person is like that. So um, this person, I'm getting farmer's market. They might really like going into farmer's market, kind of just doing things around the community, really knowing it. I feel like they might be really social as well. Um, might have a lot of friends, uh, might have a, come from a big family. <sighs> Um, the wall, we have misunderstanding. Obviously, there is a wall between the two of you. There's separation that goes with your broken ring over here. Those two tie in perfectly with the twin flame journey. We have a nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So yes, this person really does care about the family, very close to them. Their friends are like family. They, I feel like their family is going to be really warm and receptive to you. And... I feel like for some of them, you know, they've talked to them about you. So it's kind of like once you get into this family, I'm kind of getting the feeling like they're going to know your story. They're going to know everything that's already happened between the two of you because it's always like they're going to them for support, for advice. And so when they meet you, it's like, oh, this is who you are. And it's going to be kind of awkward because you may not really know them, but they know you. So that is what i'm getting with that and then we have bag something important such as a new job or a rate is it right yeah all right so this person there is finance abundance there's gonna have you guys are gonna have everything you're gonna have a very abundant relationship okay this is not about the relationship i know i'm sorry it's just i <laughs> i kind of get those too but i feel like this person is going to be financially abundant they are going to be emotionally available to you. They are going to be very loving, very dependable, very kind, warm-hearted. They are going to really take care of you. It's just everything. Like the liberation, I feel, is just like releasing everything that you've held within for so long. Because this pile to me is a twin flame pile. I'm so sorry, you guys. If this is not what you wanted, go pick another pile. Go, go now, <laughs> you know. Um... But this is what it is, and I feel like once it happens, like once you come into union, you're going to feel, it's going to feel like just almost like freedom in a way, like, okay, like big, you know, big sigh of relief coming through. So let me see what I can get. This person might be into rock climbing is what I'm getting. Okay, this is really weird, but I feel like for some of you, this person might have dressed up as Santa Claus for Christmas before. Um, yeah, I know that's totally weird and random, but that's something that I'm getting. Your person is really going to love your eyes and really be drawn to your eyes. And this is the type of person who they're just going to be staring at you when you don't even realize it. And then you're going to turn to them and it's kind of like... You know, they're just smiling at you. So I do get a sense of, like, romance as well for you, Pile 3. For some of you, this person might have Native American um, in their blood, in their blood, in their bloodline. Their ancestors might be Native American. And I'm not trying to do any looks or anything like that. This person is just going to be very giving, very giving of their love. And I I know there's more to this whole story, you guys, trust me. I'm just going by what is coming through here. I'm hearing old-fashioned, so this person can be very traditional, very old-fashioned, kind of almost by the book in a sense. And you guys are going to... You know, they do want to have a family with you. They are, you know, they are very family oriented. So yes, they do want their own family and you know, start something there as well. So they do, they want to offer you everything that they have and support you. 
I don't think there's anything else I'm getting for your pile. So I'm going to leave it there, pile three. Let me know what resonates. I know, I know, trust me, I know, <laughs> for a twin flame. But, you know, it's, I guess, a confirmation that they are your true life partner, even if it doesn't feel that way right now. And I think, like, with the broken ring and wall, it's where it's kind of like spirit saying, yeah, we know, it might come off this way, but this is how it really is. <sighs> you know. So let me know, like, share, subscribe if you're not already. Click on that bell icon if you do subscribe so you get notified when I post another pick card. That is all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for your time and I hope to see you on the next pick a card. Bye pile three. Hi pile four, welcome to your pick a card reading. You guys are the card right pile, welcome. Today's pick a card is a viewer requested from, I'm hope I'm saying it right, I'm so sorry, Shadows, PAF. And it is who is your true life partner. Um, I think I have everything. There's really not much to say, you guys. I am filming this on Mother's Day, so if you are a mother, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you continue to do, and for being the beautiful, wonderful person you are, and to all of you as well. Um, I uh, don't have much else to say. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. If you've already been subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for coming back <laughs> for another Pick a Card. So let's find out. Who is your true life partner? Pile four. So we're going to start with Tarot. Everything is sorted out. No shuffling today. No songs today either. <laughs> I love it so far. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. We have the Five of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. So we do have... Um, Half of your cards are Earth energy, so there's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that might be heavily in their chart. And then we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and we have some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio also here at present. So this person, I feel, is very well off financially. They have a wealth of finances. I feel like a lot of them have higher level positions. Very accomplished, very successful. I'm hearing like they might be kind of like directors, possibly CEOs. Some of these are people who run their own business. They are just all good about their money. <laughs> they are going to take care of you financially so, so much. This person is not afraid of a fight. This person is not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. They have a lot of inner turmoil, though, too, is what I'm hearing. I feel like they might be a little bit more stressed, and it is possible, you know, if they're running their own business or they're running a big business or they're just, you know, one of the top people, that's a lot of stress to deal with. And that's something also, but I feel like this person is going to be very, very loyal to you. They're not going to be afraid to express their emotions with the Queen of Cups energy. I just feel like that's someone who's very accepting of their feelings and kind of like not being really shy about <laughs> expressing it. They can be a little bit reserved, maybe a little bit, um, what's another word I want to say? Reserved, not quiet, but just kind of not very outgoing too much all the time. I feel like sometimes they're just so outgoing, so always talking, you know, leading these people in work, so at home, and you know, they're gonna wanna be just calm and enjoy things and just appreciate all the fruits of their labor. This person might be really into dogs. I'm getting dogs, um, dogs mainly. I don't get any cats. I'm not picking up on any other animal um th this is a type of person who is not just like it's going to be my way this person isn't selfish this person is going to think about you this is the type of person who is going to remember those special days those special holidays um who wants to build a legacy i'm hearing legacy they want to build a legacy with you they do want to have a family with you this person is very family oriented this person might be very close to their parents or their brothers and sisters they might have a couple best friends that they're very very close to so that's someone that they might go to sometimes or they might spend time so like when they're not with you and they're just like well, i'm just hanging with my friends that's who it really it really is I feel like this person is someone who is desired by many, by a lot of people. They have a lot of options. Your person is very attractive, very, very much wanted. Uh, this person has a lot of passion and fire for life. Very smart, very, you know, I'm getting more of a king of wands energy right now is what I'm picking up on. Just someone who goes after what they want. They get stuff done. They're not the type of just 
start something and never do it or they're not just all talk and no walk they're like they will do the talk they will do the walk they will do they their actions match up with their words so it's very another like breath of fresh air is what i'm getting there was another pile that had that too and i feel like that's something that's going to be very nice for you a nice welcome change so anything else that i can pick up on these cards some of them might really be into cooking i ain't gonna lie are they like like firing up the barbecue hanging out and drinking a couple beers and with their friends and buddies and i know i'm sorry if this stuff doesn't apply i know there's other people around the world i'm sorry if this doesn't apply um that's just what i'm getting with that so let me take a look at the rest of your cards your oracle cards so we have the blue jay assertive daring universal wisdom yeah your person's so daring <laughs> they're just go for it and get it done we have rumpled stilt skin secrets hmm okay we have the destroyer and then we have chair empty someone is leaving your life clouds temporary problems that's still in the frame haystack karma you will reap what you have sown the peacock beware of great pride uh oh okay money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna go with the tea leaf cards first because that's where my attention is your person isn't going to be perfect and you know i it's realistic so their pride their ego might be something that is going to be where it might cause an issue this person can be direct and so when things do get heated they might be the type of person who kind of says whatever and doesn't think about it until afterwards and they know so this person is secretly sensitive though but they're not letting on to it they're just a big showman i'm getting like just very charismatic very charming very outgoing and that's possibly all the other reason why other people are attracted to them and want them they just have this energy that's fun and then like hot at the same time so yeah and we have the money path so yes obviously that one's tying in with money it finances all taken care of that is not a problem here for your person we have the haystack karma you will reap what you have sown Whew. this person i don't know i i'm getting this might have to do with stuff that they've done like they I don't want to say this is for everybody but what i'm getting is that to get to where they are they've really had to make some decisions that might not have been the best so that's something as well um that i'm getting with that but also it's like they're starting to clear out karma i don't know you guys i feel like there's some karma here that they need to deal with in the clouds temporary problems this might be i don't know is this an x for some of you um sometimes they just can't see things too clearly like they get so heated like you know you're just seeing red and you're just not like you can't think clearly because you're so angry and that's the kind of energy that i get and i feel like maybe that's the karma really like they'll say things to you that are just so cold and just so um i'm getting hurtful they have that kind of sense to them that they can do that and even though it's you know it's a temporary problem and stuff but then it's like okay then it leads to this karma and like you know so then they have to make up for it um the chair empty someone is leaving your life so for some of these people it could be that when you do meet them they might be in a relationship or getting out of a relationship it could also be that they've lost someone who's very very important to them so that's also what i'm getting from that that or it just might be that they've been single for a while and they you know if someone who's busy with their career and focus on it it may not be like they haven't really had time for it you know and just kind of like it's just collecting dust in in the background over there and then we have the destroyer oh wow what was that? it kind of ties into that what i was saying with the clouds and haystack is what i'm getting 
like when they erupt with this anger you know you see all this lava flowing and like that's them like all that passionate anger and stuff but at the same time when you make up with them the sex is going to be like through just insane it's just big eruption also in that sense so it's good and bad so there's the bad part to it but then there's the good they're going to make it up to you and but it's yeah um but they're building this karma with you in a way because it's like yeah um, the, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for new life, the shadow attributes, intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potential. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. I think like that was what I was getting with the karma. Um, how do I want to say this? So just kind of if they are in a higher level or I feel like your person's watching out for themselves and they kind of sometimes don't care what at what cost they're very much about themselves so there is a little bit of that's that there's that ego coming in like you aren't gonna threaten my my career and in whatever the situation is if it's someone who's new or whatever the case may be they just have this way of like i don't know i'm getting like they make people feel little sometimes so I mean, they are going to be there for you. They're going to be loving. The sex is going to be insane. This is going to be your, your true life partner. But that ego and that pride, it's there and it's coming through right now. Um, I don't think it's going to be like, you guys are going to mesh well because this is your person. But, you know, everyone has their issues and this is what your person's thing is. And I think it all just comes from that ego and that pride that they have. We have rumpled stilt skin secrets. So this person, I feel like, has secrets in their past that they haven't really revealed to anybody. Or this person can just have this tendency to be a little bit more secretive than they should be. And they may not completely tell you everything, and they might just tell you enough to kind of, like, crumbs where you're like, okay, well, I'm, I'm good. But then, you know, a couple hours later, you're like, you're hungry again, and you want to know the truth. So... This person is a little bit more private as well. They kind of tend to keep things under wrap. It's really kind of like what I was just seeing in my head. Like when I was seeing with the Queen of Cups, I was looking at the Queen of Cups. And like that's them. And I feel like the cup, you know, how it's closed, like that's their secrets. And they're, they're guarding their secrets. They're afraid of these secrets, whatever they are. But I do get that they might be a little bit more private when it comes to their emotions or their past or what they've done. And it might be related to work and that sort of thing as well. So then we have the blue jay over here, assertive, daring, universal wisdom. You're being guided to be aware of synchronicities in your life. You are entering a time of intellectual and spiritual growth. New truths are come, are forming each day. Be fearless. Trust your gut. Be your authentic self. Take inspired action. And what, you're des what you desire will come to fruition. So yeah, this person just has a way of making things happen. They're daring. They're fearless. They just, they really don't care about like who they have to step on or who they have to jump over. Or, you know, like they're, they're all for it. And that's kind of like the battle. Like they are a fighter. Um, for some of them, they might actually be a fighter. They might be a boxer. They might be an MMA fighter for some of them too. But I was getting more like in the beginning, like I was saying about just hire like a director, like a supervisor, managers, that sort of thing. Like where they're in, uh, where they have like authority, you know, is what they have. And I feel like that kind of is what's led to those, that pride. And they're just... I feel like your person takes very well, takes very good care of themselves. They're all about their appearance and showing off and bragging and very strong Leo Aries Sagittarius is really what I'm getting, you guys. Even though you have Taurus Virgo Capricorn, okay, that's what it is. Your person is very into materialistic things, very much about showing off showing the world what they have like look at me kind of thing this person is going to show you off like they are going to go out and you know they're going to be like look this is you kind of are like the the, the trophy in a way you know like the, you know yeah, that's what i'm getting with that um they're a little full of themselves i'm not gonna lie that's what i'm picking up on right now with your person but they're gonna be loving towards you 
they're gonna be loving towards you they're gonna take care of you they are going to be loyal to you above all so even though other people might want them once they have you it's all about you pile four Whew, anything else that I can pick up on Jeez, that's a lot for some of them they might be in architecture construction is also what I'm getting Some of them might not be really good or close to their mom. They may not be really close to their mom or they just don't talk to their mom a lot. Um, very, very strong masculine energy in this pile. So if you are a female asking about female or a guy asking about a female, your person is very strong masculine type of energy and might be a little intimidating to some but i feel like they have this kind of gentle very charismatic all about wanting to get along with everybody and impressing people and just showing off really is what it is so um the blue jay i just feel like they're just always constantly watching in the background that's kind of weird i don't know if that's what those secrets and letting go of people at work or something I had to do with it. I don't know. That is where I'm going to leave it though, you guys. I, um, yeah, I probably will do another reading, um, maybe to add on to this or more. I didn't really get too much of the information I wanted, but I guess this is what spirit, you know, was letting us know so far or what we could know right now. So let me know if you know who this person is, or if you don't, then that just means it's a new love coming your way. And that possibly is a very good thing. So I know a lot of people are looking for new love and not wanting someone old to return. But if it's an ex, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that's who your true life partner is coming out to be. Let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know um, if you do want to see, I don't know. I do like taking the requests. This one was another viewer requested and I needed something light after yesterday's reading. So um, I'm going to be posting another pick of cards soon. I got to figure out what's on my list now, <laughs> what's left. I have a few still and I will get one to you guys. If not, I'll be posting on Instagram. If you are on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. I'm Sincerely Luminous, just search for me that way, same name, and my profile should come up for you. And that's all I have. So thank you guys for your time. Like, share, subscribe if you're not already. And remember to click on that bell icon so you get notified when I post another pick card. But thank you so much, Pile4, and I hope to see you on the next pick card reading. Bye.